Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, September 14, 2022. If you like support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos and all our trades and our portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the Nasdaq and this was an absolutely horrible day for the markets in general. Only thing that really was uh, positive on my screen here was the VIX and of course the VIX jumped by 11% and that kind of is really bad for everything else as there's a negative correlation between the NICs and uh, stocks indices and so on. But the Nasdaq fell more than 5%. Main reason for this is because the CPI number was much higher than expected and therefore Fed will most likely continue with its uh, aggressive monetary uh, tightening. So expect further rate, high, rate hikes of 50, uh, 75 basis points going towards the future until they basically hit their goal, which is 2% annually. And their the inflation rate is no, no, nowhere near that at all. Uh, furthermore, they will probably also do uh, quantitative tightening. They haven't really started on that yet, and that should be even more headache for the markets. So people took full advantage of this four-day rally here, got up towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement. can show it on the screen right here. Look at this. And then we got up towards the 12.8K, which is the 50 Fibonacci, and then bad news, and this just fell off a cliff. At this current stage, don't really see any good news in the market. Uh, Fed is going to continue tightening. That will be really bad for tech you know, companies and also especially Nasdaq. And breaking 11.9K could drop this all the way down to the lows of June, which is down at 11K. So there's still a lot of room to the downside. We're at 40 in the RSI. The MACD is bearish. The CASIC is bearish. RSI is bearish. So expect probably you could see a minor rally before going but at this current stage it looks like 11.9k um, is going to be taken out so let's look at the, the S&P 500 same thing here bad news this fell well, roughly 4.2 percent to the downside so the same thing here we got up towards the 50 or 61.8 to Fibonacci retracement and then we got the CPI number and just it fell off a cliff broke below the 50 moving average We'll most likely test um, uh, 3.8k um, in this week. If that breaks, then we could drop all the way down to uh, 3.7 or even 3.6k, which is basically the low in June. Rallies at this point, well, you can see basically this four-day rally here, what basically happened to that. And that is most likely going to be um, the thing that's going to happen going forward. If you look at technical indicators, because the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside before this basically becomes uh, oversold. So let's look at Dow Jones. Dow Jones uh, found support down here at the previous lows after this four-day rally. Same thing for that happened in the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. Also happened to the NASDAQ and S&P 500. Also happened to Dow Jones, but it was fairly more resilient, 3.8% to the downside. If this breaks, then we may drop towards uh, 30K or probably down to 29.6K, which is the lows uh, down here in June. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, and there's also still a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at the European um, economies. This is the DAX. So, so DAX, DAX also fell down off a cliff. cliff. We are only, we're basically down 1.59%, but this will most likely hit the European um, markets really hard when it opens uh, tomorrow. So we're right here at the 50 million average, breaking below that. That could open the door back towards the lows here at 12.6k and then down towards uh, 12.4k. The European economy is going to struggle in 2022 and also in 2023 and going forward as the war in Ukraine is going to take a toll on a European economy, especially when it comes to energy. And nobody really knows how, where that will lead to. But in general, just looking at this, every single rally that we see here gets sold into. Rally gets sold into, rally gets sold into, and now we rally yet again and we will most likely see this uh, be sold into 
the lows of the markets is down here. We kind of have a double, a triple bottom here. And if this breaks, then we'll basically tumble significantly. Next real um, support is down here at the 11.4K, uh, down towards uh, no, 10K, and then all the way down to the very lows of uh, 2020, which is down here at 8K. So looking at this market from afar, then we just see that it is looking basically terrible. Technical indicators MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is costing on becoming bearish. RSI is also bearish, and there's a lot of room to the downside in the DAX. So let's look at the Japanese uh, Nikkei. Also, where this fell um, late in the US session, it really tumbled roughly to 2% to, to, to the downside. Staying here right at the 50, no, 200, the EMA. And uh, if we break below that, then 27.2K will mostly be targeted. And after that, all the way down towards 25 Okay. Looking at this, if other markets really tumble, then it's hard to imagine that this won't tumble as well. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has become bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish with a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at the VIX. VIX really uh, jumped today, but we ended up at the same area where we found resistance in the past. So breaking about this, well, then we may go back towards the uh, 33, um, but, but we could also have a little bit of pullback and go higher. If you look at technical indica indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is, is uh, just crossing the signal and becoming bullish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is also bullish with a lot of room to the upside. To the downside, it is down here that we need to take 23. We need to take out in order to go lower. And here we need to take out roughly 26.9 towards 27 before going towards these highs yet again. If you look at the 10 year, it jumped, but not that uh, aggressively. We still need to take out this area here, which is roughly at 3.4 uh, towards 3.5. We got fairly close, 3.451 is where we got to. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, so classical is bullish, and RSI is also bullish, but there is still um, there is still an overbought condition in the 10 years. So we may see this pullback towards support down here at the 20 simple moving average, or all the way down to the 50 moving average before going higher. So yes, that's hope you find this helpful. You don't support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our. New videos, and you will join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much.